Hello Aquarius. So my name is Melissa Romack from Romack Studios and today I'm going to be doing your full moon reading for Aquarius zodiac signs for the full moon of March the 28th which is on Sunday. Full moons are all about illuminating the darkness and uh, we're going to do the red dragon tarot spread which is a seven card spread. And then we'll do some clarifier cards to make sure that we get some really clear messages for you, Aquarius. Okay. If you found me on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Wow, right off the hop, didn't even have time to do anything. Okay. So your dream, the heart's desire, Aquarius, that's the first card that we pulled here. And your dream or the heart's desire is the three of wands. So, wow. Three of wands. The ship's coming in, man. Opportunities are coming in. You are, you've been building this. You are a few steps ahead. I feel like any Aquariuses that have their own businesses have been actually thriving during this time. This is your, if you haven't been, this is the dream to thrive. And then the companions, the assistance you'll receive on your journey is the eight of pentacles. Steady she goes. Okay. I feel like you're going to be building some pretty amazing things this month. And then the journey, unfamiliar places you must go to realize your dream. Well, Aquarius, we got a tower. So are you afraid of change? because the tower is the unfamiliar place you have to go. So if you want to get this three of wands abundance, okay, you're going to have to make some really big changes. And we'll do uh, some clarifier cards on that tower and, and find out what those changes are. So, so far we have the dream, three of wands, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. Okay, so the magical gifts, the new skills required for success, the chariot, time to move forward. So you're going to build, you're going to go through some big changes, and then you're going to be in a forward motion, okay? So the new skills are required is to move forward. Now the enchantment for Aquarius, the hidden obstacles along the path for Aquarius, mm, two of pentacles in reverse. So pentacles, earth sign two, generally is a sign of uh, decisions, right? So the two of pentacles, the work of the master, right? So the two of, or sorry, the Two of Pentacles is the learning the dance of change. So it's going between two big, big changes, but it's learning to go with the ebbs and flows of life. Okay, so the enchantment along your path is that you, you need to go along with the change, but maybe you don't. Maybe that's just the whole point. Maybe you have a very forward motion in something you've built here. So the enchantment is that you have to go with the ebbs and flows, but you don't. You can big, have that bigger ship. You can decide to take that bigger ship. It's yours. Now the dragon, what must you befriend, sacrifice, or defeat this month, Aquarius? The dragon for Aquarius. But this card was popping out. Yep. The high priestess. So... The dragon you must befriend, Aquarius, is your inner self, your intuition. And you're going to have to let go of some secrets there. Whatever deep truths need to be enlightened after this decision is made. Right? And that comes with the Prince of Wands in reverse. So they both popped out. Sometimes the Prince of Wands, like sometimes if two cards pop out, then I would just, uh, you know do one for the next but no this one is definitely feeling like they came together so wands okay we're talking magic 
princes generally are like an immature energy. So I feel like with the wands and the prince of wands here coming out with the high priestess, it's time to grow up, Aquarius. It's time to take those lessons that you learned with that tower and, and literally charge forward with it, okay? Because there's so much passion here to be had with the Prince of Wands, okay? And it's saying here to go within with the High Priestess in some silence, okay? So the opposite of going forward with passion, you're going to need to sit in some quiet. That's the dragon. That's what you got to befriend, okay? Is sitting in that quiet. And then the awakening, the final outcome for your efforts. What is the awakening for Aquarius this month for the full moon? Wow, thank you, Spirit and Guides, for your clear messages, being articulate. Thank you, angels. I'm grateful for all of your help. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. So... You sit pretty at the end of it, Aquarius. Spend that time within. It'll pay off. Okay? Now, let's pull some clarifier cards on this red dragon tarot spread. So three of wands, the dream. I feel like that's pretty obvious. Now, this eight of pentacles building. How do you build? How do you get there? What chakra from the Enlightenment with the Elements deck? Does Aquarius need to embody? What do they need to know? Okay, so this is your spirit message in the earth element. Fertility is yours. Abundance comes with hard work, inside and outside. If you have done the work, this card represents great achievement in your near future. Celebrations will be coming for you. Staying grounded will heed success. So, yeah, you're building something massive here. You've got it in mind, Aquarius, and you are on your way. All right, now we're going to go with the Murder of Crows Tarot. I've been kind of using this as a shadow deck, but I feel with this tower here is the third with the unfamiliar place, meaning that you're not a big fan of change. Yeah. Wow. Wow. A whole bunch of cards came out here. So the tower. All right, so first we got the Knight of Swords. Okay? Aquarius, you got to speak your truth. All right? Um, and then I'm just going to double check this one to make sure I'm saying it right. Because I'm pretty sure I know what that is, but I want to be sure. Yeah. Okay, I was right. So... You're going to have to speak your truth. Then you got the Judgment card. And then you got the Ten of Swords. And then you got the Eight of Cups. This tower is going to bring some truth and a whole lot of decision making and pain and I feel like you're gonna walk from this situation whatever this big change is it's for the best because you're going to move forward into this decision of beauty with the high priestess and finding your inner strength and power to get to the end here but uh, you're gonna have to stand in your power to get to this three of wands and when this tower happens be prepared for it Okay, don't be afraid of judgment. All right, you're going to deal with the pain and you're going to process it and you're going to heal it on the other end. Okay, now this chariot, let's go with uh, the Moonology deck for the chariot. So Aquarius goes through this process of the tower and they they process, they heal, they, they're on the other side, the light of the tunnel, they get to the chariot. Where are they going? Woo! Ah. You're very close to achieving your goal. This tower moment is going to be scary, but it gets you closer to this three of wands, which is where you want to be. Okay, Aquarius? This two of pentacles. Hmm. 
when we're going to pull the path of the soul here and this is a destiny deck and i'm really actually kind of curious um to see what decision aquarius has to you face come this full moon Ooh, a 30 three and zero this is the goddess you must embody your inner goddess during this decision okay her yellow crown denotes self-empowerment and the red denotes a strong embracement of her feminine sexual energy who here has been repressing their sexual energy aquarius says for women, the goddess is here to remind you that your sexuality is an important part of being in a female body, and it is just as important as all the other aspects that make you, you. For men listening today, there is a strong female energy around you. Begin to study and understand this feminine energy as it plays an important role in balancing your male energy. All right. So it's definitely going to be this feeling of back and forth and back and forth, and you're going to have to balance the two. Then you get this Prince of Wands and this High Priestess. So I feel like Aquarius, their dragon, they're going to have to spend some time on their inner selves, working on their inner selves. Spirit, is uh, any other messages that we could give to Aquarius right now in regards to that High Priestess? Is there anything they need to know for this month? Ten of Cups. With the inner work comes ultimate love. And the Seven of Wands. You've got the support from your angels, okay? It's there. Prince of Wands, High Priestess, Ten of Cups, and the absolute love and beauty to get to this Nine of Cups. What a gorgeous, gorgeous reading, Aquarius. Beautiful. You're going to get this Nine of Cups, and you've got a Ten of Cups in here. So you're going to go through this tower moment. You're going to see the future. You're going to make it through, Okay. So I'll pull one more just from the Esoteric Astrology deck for the Nine of Cups to see if there's maybe a house or a planet you can focus on to get through this. Yeah. So I serve. Okay, this is Leo. Fifth house, I serve others, myself, family, and love. Find the happiness in the service of others. Okay. So if you found me on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button or the like button below. It definitely helps me. Thank you so much for joining me, Aquariuses, in this reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, please leave a message or a comment below. It always helps me to know that things are resonating and getting validation. Um, if you have any further questions, you can also ask them there. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I do free readings every full moon and new moon. Thank you for your time, Aquarius. Have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy your full moon and uh, be in service of others to get that three of wands. Much love.